So this is a, it's a very tough photo to to uh, for photos that are you or for homes that are using AI to actually be able to to focus on because you have two people that are in front of each other in very close distance. So of course, because it's using all the five cameras to create a depth map, which is over twelve hundred, uh, it's about twelve hundred layers uh, in total. So you can actually create this kind of like a three D effect. So we start adding depth. You notice how how Manish here actually pops up from the image. So it's like it looks like in Photoshop that you like Photoshop someone into the image. What we can do, we can actually, if we want to take it a little bit further, we can even bring this guy here in focus so that's now the only thing that's in focus um, is the guy in the middle so that's Manesh is blurred yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's very difficult to do with any device really so it has five cameras this one yeah it's five cameras in the back it's using all the five cameras at the same time so this is the only phone that's doing that uh, most of the other multi-camera phones are only using two cameras at the same time uh, so it has two RGB cameras, that's the main one, that's the reference one. Um, and then we've got a, a triangle of monochrome cameras, so we can capture all of that dynamic range, uh, which is something that, you know, one monochrome sensor can capture up to 2.9 uh, 2 times more light than an RGB one can. So we can get all the, you know, the blacks and the whites and, and up to a, a very, very uh, much of uh, dynamic range. Yeah, and it combines all the five images into one using AI and you know, computational photography. Uh, and that's actually a time of flight sensor, so it's able to measure the distance. You're gonna get that depth map accurate um, so that we can move across it. And the cool thing here, even though we got five cameras, it's slim, so there is no protruding camera, no camera bump. Uh, it's a very light phone as well. And uh, how about uh, in front? We have just one camera. So the front camera is adapter 20 megapixel camera, so you can get good photos with it. But I mean, of course, with this device being like a photographer camera, it's a uh, it's for photographers. Yeah, so for photographers are really like tech enthusiasts, like high tech lovers. Um, then, then I mean, the back camera is the real story, really. I mean, that's that's the one that you can do things that you can't do with any and other. Phone. What kind of software do you provide for the user? So that that I just showed that's, that's in one, Google yeah, Photos. Uh, Photos. So that's basically just built in. So we're yeah. using GDAF to access it. But then you also we have a partnership with Adobe. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, and you can just uh, you can shoot raw DNG images with this one, uh, and of course native black and white as well. So you have multi-camera black and white, and you can just do the edit editing here uh, directly on, on Google, for, uh, sorry, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, so it's very easy to use. Um, One question, in terms of the video, let's say uh, 4K HDR? Yeah, 4K HDR is available here. Uh, and for the video, I gotta say that's using one camera, obviously, so using the reference camera. Would be impossible to process it with the five cameras that we just destroyed. We're already kind of pushing the limits of the, the whole chipset, uh, adding on a, a light code processor. And, because the Snapdragon can only actually record uh, or use three cameras simultaneously, so we've had to tap into the GPU and also the light call presses to be able to drive the cameras. And uh, the rest of the stuff, like how it's actually combining everything, that's light magic. Then how it, how this will be out soon. Uh, yeah, very soon. Yeah. Nice. You'll be able to get your hands on our next one. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. And the price is six ninety nine, the global average price. So. Uh, so it's very, of course, there's some differences in taxation, but it's very affordable, especially with the capabilities. The fact that we can get up to the seven, seven centimeters close, so we can actually create a macro bokeh, which is very difficult to do for, for any of the other phones due to the kind of the, the lens setup, or the camera setup. And the lenses are from Zeiss? Yes, we are using Zeiss optics. Absolutely, yes.